Hi there kids! It's a wonderful day for another science adventure. I am teacher Emmeline and I will be your science teacher for today. Our lesson is all about how heat is transferred in solid materials. The objective of our lesson is to describe how heat is transferred in solid materials. What's to look back? What is an energy? What are the different types of energy? And how does the energy affect our daily activities? Energy is the ability to work. Energy is how things change and move. Examples of energy are light, heat, and sound. And energy makes our vehicles go, planes fly, boats sail, and machines run. Heat heat transferred to a different materials can you tell what the kids are feeling right now what do you think made them feel warm how does the heat of the Sun reach the earth let us now study how heat is transferred to solid materials It's activity time! Observe the video below. What happened to the margarine at the other half of the metal spoon? Why do you think it melted even if it is not directly exposed to the flame? And if we are using a metal tongs and continue to expose the metal spoon to flame, what do you think will happen to the pair of metal tongs? As you can see in the video, the margarine melted. The heat from flame traveled through the metal spoon until it reached the other end of the spoon, which caused the margarine to melt. The pair metal tongs will also be heated. Heat moves from a hot object to a cold object. As the metal spoon is heated, the margarine on the other end of the metal spoon melts. This shows that the heat coming from the flame is transferred from one end of the metal spoon to the other end. This is called transfer of heat by conduction. heat is transferred to solid materials. The transfer of heat in solid materials is called conduction. The heat from the video makes the atoms of the bottom of the metal spoon to vibrate faster. Conduction is the heat transfer through a substance or from a substance to another by direct contact. Everything is made up of small particles. When the particles are moving faster, there is more energy and the temperature is higher. As fast-moving particles touch slow-moving particles, the energy is transferred. This causes the slower particles to speed up and the faster particles to slow down. There are materials that allow heat to flow through easily. We call them conductors. Metals are good conductors. That is why we use them as cooking utensils because heat moves fast through the metal pan to the food. Examples of conductors are copper, aluminum, steel, or any metal.
On the other hand, there are materials through which heat passes slowly or not at all. We call these insulators. Some good insulators are wood, plastic, and ceramic. Others are glass, paper, fabric, rubber, and foam. Let's check if you really understand our lesson. How's my target now? It's game time! Good job, kids! Now, here's what else can I do. We often got hurt when we touch a turner or CNC left in a frying pan for too long. Suggest ways to reduce the effect of heat on the turner so that we can avoid getting hurt when we leave it out of the hot pan. Write your suggestions in your science notebook. I hope you enjoyed our science adventure for today. Till our next science class, goodbye!